I bought this uh, Proxon half inch ratchet and it was from Amazon.co UK came from Germany it took forever to get here but the the idea with this is it's it's one of those I guess you call it like rotator ratchets where you twist this handle and it's like a double drive system or whatever you quad drive whatever you probably seen it with screwdrivers where you can twist it in either direction and it will go in the direction that this is um, turned towards so back and forth like this it'll just turn it in this direction in this case and you just move this back and forth tight and loosen just like a normal ratchet and you can put um, this is a quarter inch drive uh, and I've got the 3 8 ad adapter on there that was the first red flag for me like I, maybe I didn't read the uh, description right but I, I, I certainly don't recall it having a quarter inch female on the on the bottom I thought it had a half inch on the bottom um, half inch square drive it's a quarter inch square drive that made me wonder okay well I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of heavy torquing with this maybe maybe I had just uh, had unrealistic expectations or something but I was I was thinking that you know this thing is designed for where you can get into a, a pretty tight space where you can't move a ratchet and you just put an extension on here and then with the regular ratchet you tighten well I just this bolt here on this press I just um, tighten it up as much as I could with this ratchet hooked up here and then I um, took my torque wrench to 20 pounds and it was quite a bit of turning before my torque wrench would click which tells me that this is getting fewer than uh, or less than 10 pounds or less than 20 pounds of torque let's try it with um, uh, with 10 pounds of torque and 15 and see what kind of torque it's actually giving it's hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time but if you can see there the uh, as I'm turning this down here that's turning which is exactly what it's supposed to and you can imagine the uh, the utility of that where you can you know take a long extension here um, that was the whole point of getting this but now watch okay you'll notice that I'm turning this here but it's not turning up there so it's just starting to spin down here not even at the handle but just like down here it's starting to spin and uh, again it's hard to do one-handed for the camera but it's not tight it's not the tightness that you would expect i was expecting you know maybe it could use it for up to 80 foot pounds or something like that it's a half inch ratchet you know it's it's supposed to be made for that well let's see i, I said i put the torque wrench to 20. um let's try it on 10 and see if it's 10. and this is just a basic harbor freight torque wrench but i've got it set to 10. You see that? It took a while. It took a little bit for it to click, right? Actually, it hasn't even clicked yet. There we go. It clicked. Okay, so you saw I had to turn it maybe half a turn or so just to get it to click to 10. So it's not even 10 foot-pounds that this thing can tighten to. Um, and obviously, that was with um, the additional um, leverage of this ratchet at the bottom now imagine your hand is going to produce significantly less leverage than that so I mean I guess this thing would be good for untightening bolts but you still have to break them loose so I feel like this thing is is just a total waste of money maybe I got a, uh, a bad one maybe somebody can tell me you know I'd, I'd love to be wrong about this I'd love to uh, have somebody say well, no you got a you got a lemon you know um, but I don't think so uh, it, in any case, I'm going to return it. So hope this helps somebody. Uh, I think I would avoid Proxon in the future and probably these rotating handle ratchets altogether. It'd be nice if, if they would work. Um, they would really save some trouble, but I'm very skeptical now.